Welcome to the next video in the X4 Foundation skill series. In this one, we're going to be talking about the mysterious morale skill. Now, I'll be honest, before this, uh, I made this video, I really had no idea what the morale skill was used for, but now I do. So, we're going to go through what the morale skill actually does. And one of the interesting things about it it's the only skill that can actually be lost. So morale can be gained and morale can be lost. And we'll talk a little bit about how that works. Now, all this information is kind of taken from going through the XML files, used, which you can unpack and use for modding and things like that. It's all above board. Now, I have no insight into what might go on on the, the hard-coded side. There may be uses for morale in there that are just kind of invisible but we're going to go through what we do know about and it's kind of interesting i uh i did not know about all this stuff that morale did now it's really hard to show in the interface or hard there's nothing really to show in the actual game so here's gonna be some generic footage of me playing x4 probably badly in the background but you know let's get into it morale is used to help uh, repair the ship much like piloting was in the last video at times x4 treats all skills it combines them and comes up with value and morale can be part of that so for ship repair hull repair uh, morale just like the other skills is used in that calculation so higher morale will contribute to higher uh, hull repair. That's kind of one of the less interesting uses of morale in the game, but you know, there are several places where this combined skill kind of exists, where as long as they're skilled in something, they'll help out with um, the, the task at hand. So hull repair, if you uh, have someone high quick hull repair, they will help you do that. There is one theme that we're going to see throughout this video with the morale skill. And that is whether pilots should fight or flee. That is kind of one of the core things that morale is used for. And that makes sense to think about it. Um, it's used differently in different cases. So we'll start with the regular attack case. So fighting ships, NPC pilots based on their morale is when they decide when they need to fight and when they need to flee. So, and that, and that comes with the shield measurement. So the higher the morale, the lower their shields can get before they flee. If they have a very low morale, they may flee when the shields hit 60%. If they have higher morale, they uh, may wait till the shields are almost dead to, to, to start running. There's also a case where and this is interesting. It's a, it's a little complicated formula, but pilots, computer-brained pilots, have some si have a time to die measurement, Giant. where they understand how much like HP they're losing, I guess, and how much time left they probably have before they, you know, blow up. And that uses the combined skill that we talked about, and based on that. If they judge that, hey, they only have 10 seconds left, they're going to get out of there. But if they have a higher combined skill, they may, uh, th they'll leave earlier be to, be, to be safer. So morale is included in that combined skill, but it is not just the only skill in there that does that. So to kind of summarize, uh, morale is used to kind of flee when there's shield damage. And then subsequently, when there's hull points involved, uh, the combined skill is started to is also used to decide if they should run. You hear all the chitter chatter that goes on in uh, X4, like all the barking, I guess they call it, just the things the pilots say. Sometimes they sound pretty confident. Sometimes they don't. Well, it turns out that morale is involved in these dis what in the decision of what these pilots should say i didn't realize that so if they're sounding all confident um 
there's some calculations that go on, but basically morale is in that in that calculation to decide whether or not they're confident, whether or not they're scared, and then what um, sa- what sound should what sound voice should be played by the pilot. That's pretty interesting and cool. I, I really like the idea that morale affects their bravado over the comms. I think that's a great idea. I'd love to see more of that. I don't know if they're arrogant enough. I would love to see some really arrogant pilots out there. But maybe I just haven't come across many five-star pilots to, <laughs> to really show that. But that's a great idea. So morale is used to determine uh, the kind of voice that NPCs will bark out when, when they're fighting and things like that. As said before, morale is used for fighting and fleeing. This is also true for just NPC ships themselves. When pirates or police ask to get asked to do inspections or drop cargo. Now, this doesn't apply to player-controlled ships because players can define the response in the global order section. So, morale doesn't override the player decisions. But for those NPC, you know, this is a living world. Uh, things go on whether the player is controlling ships or not. So for those ships, all those NPC uh, faction-controlled ships, the pilot's morale is involved in determining whether or not when stopped by the police or pirates, whether they fight or flee, which is neat. It's uh, part of the AI life that goes on in X4 Foundations. It doesn't really affect the player so much as, you know, they're not involved in this situation. It's just kind of uh, what goes on in the background. Now, I don't know in uh, claiming sectors and policing sectors, this this may, this may comes into play because your p- police, if you can have police, they would be interacting with these ships and these decisions would be made. But the, uh, the race, I mean, sorry, the uh, morale skill comes into play, but also the race does. So if the race is split or paranoid, they are uh, more likely to attack in, in situations c- compared to the others. So that's kind of cool flavoring they add there. But otherwise, you know, the higher the morale, the more chance that they'll attack. The lower the morale, the more chance to flee. Which makes sense. The more confident they are, the more chance they, uh, they'll want to get in a fight. But this doesn't really affect player ships at all. During the last video about the pilot skill, we talked about how it was used in combat. I kind of lied a little bit. It's not just the pilot skill that's used in, in the combat. The morale skill is also used in combination with the pilot skill at times. So, for example, when determining the ideal combat range, we talked about the pilot skill. The morale skill is also used in that calculation. So you're going to get your pilots doing better, uh, having better combat with better morale. So basically the distance at which they want to engage is influenced heavily by piloting and morale. It basically adds the two values together to determine if uh, they should be in their ideal combat range or not. So it's important to have that morale there. Um, It's also used in another way, which we'll talk about now. This is based on an interesting comment in in the files. So basically it goes, captains can lose their nerve and stop firing to reposition sooner with lower morale. So basically what this means is, and it's hard to say, but because there's a lot of math involved here, but the uh, amount of time a pilot will spend in an angle firing on a, on a ship is dependent on their morale. So basically, I guess the idea is they'll get fidgety, antsy, um, the lower their morale is, and try to reposition uh, because they're scared or something like that sooner with lower morale. With the higher morale, they'll stay at that position and probably end up doing more damage because they'll uh, they'll just stay there. So that's a good use of morale. It's hard to really kind of measure how effective it is because it's just one of those calculations that go on behind the scenes. 
But it's good to know that, that that's kind of one of the uses of morale is uh, just more effective combat in, in general. So along with the piloting skill, the morale skill becomes pretty important if you want capable pilots. System. Morale is also used in when NPC ships are fleeing, whether they'll drop cargo or not. Pretty uh, self-explanatory. The higher morale, less chance they'll drop cargo. But the morale is used in that calculation. However, it does not appear that it applies to player-owned ships. So this is more of a NPC world ships thing. So when you see all that cargo dropped, by a ship, it's most likely that they lost a morale check. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, morale can actually be lost. And this occurs when you just have ships idling or waiting. Now it's a very low uh, amount or chance that morale, that morale value skill ratings will be lost, but ships just sitting around doing nothing, whether that's just idle or a wait order do have that chance. So it's just, it's just some interesting thing. I don't know if it's ever happened to anybody out there, but morale can be lost if your ships are just doing nothing. And this isn't the only place that morale can be lost. Um, I believe bad trades, which we'll discuss this sort of stuff in another video, but the, uh, the game and NPCs have a view of a bad trade and a bad trade can have some consequences, for example. But we'll get to that all in due time. That covers it for the morale video. It's pretty much what it does. If anyone has any uh, corrections, please let me know. If I hear anything different, I'll definitely post in the comments. Because, uh, you know, I there may be some things I missed. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and have a great day.